जय श्री राम सेंटेंस इक्विवेलेंस कन्फ्यूज बाई हिज क्वार्टरली इवेल्युएशन विच कॉल्ड इज वर्क एथिक फ्लैगमैटिक एंड अन इंस्पायर्ड ना वर्क एथिक मीन्स a strong uh, moral kind of uh, disposition to work like a karma yogi hmm? work and don't be a lazy fellow and maintain your self respect don't be a sponge or mooch and don't mooch don't catch and don't become a parasite on others that is having a strong work ethic phlegmatic is a word uh, physically it would mean lazy Uh, mentally it would mean positive that means uh, self possessed having great control over one's emotions so phlegma- phlegmatic temperament now phlegmatic uh, can mean depending on the context in which it is being used this word can mean something positive something negative like i told you just now confused by his quarterly evaluation which called his work ethic phlegmatic and uninspired the worker argued that he actually clump completed his tasks with dash so actually is the clue actually indicates uh, some contrast okay so he argued and he defended he reacted okay chicanery cheating alacrity with great uh, zeal and eagerness and prompt spurti zeal is passion enthusiasm meticulousness very thorough transparency that means everything is there for everyone to see nothing is hidden artistry so please pause let us see what can be the answer please pause and work on it i am also working i think it's fairly simple the answer is alacrity and zeal let's go to the next one the on scene on screen vampires of the current generation of film usually lack much feeling of being dash they might better populate a soap opera than a horror movie soap opera is a tv drama tv melodrama never ending serials you know 500 episodes that's a soap opera melodrama it it basically means you know there will be lot of emotional tantrums and the hero and villain can be quickly identified because the hero is presented as an epitome of all positive qualities and the villain is an epitome of all negative qualities you can also quickly identify the sidekick the comedian the comedian uh, the the character actor and the vamp 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 means the seductress the mall m o l l the villain's darling who tries to seduce the seduce the hero so all the uh, characters the harlequin h a r l e q u i n harlequin means the uh, clown the clown who also wears a dress called a harlequin that means a loose fitting dress with stars and stripes and you know all kinds of fancy colorful things on the uh, cloth so that is uh, a harlequin anyway in a melodrama you can quickly identify the characters and the hero or heroine the lead actor the protagonist all epitomizes all positive qualities the villain epitomizes all negative qualities and finally at the end the hero will the the lead actor the protagonist will uh, win the antagonist or the villain will lose life is not a melodrama anyway melodramas are sickeningly boring and all that soap opera means a melodrama on tv so lack much feeling of being dash they might better populate a soap opera than a horror movie belligerent means very war like eh? always uh, itching for a fight baleful means uh, evil baleful negative poisonous harmful toxic evil malicious innocuous is harmless pernicious and baleful are a pair bellicose and belligerent are a pair so bellicose and belligerent means war like like a hawk hawkish h a w k i s h hawk is a predatory bird but hawk also means a person who prefers the policy of war okay hawkish and dovish and dow d o v e dow means a person who is a pacifist who opposes the policy of war and uh, fighting so please pause now and work on it i am also working i think the answer has to be baleful and pernicious okay next the saying that it has a thousand truths are told in jest jokingly jest means jokingly in jest the saying that a thousand truths are told in jest would be well heeded well heeded that means uh, followed people will heed means to follow listen well heeded by those who are dash about what their humor might imply to others okay blithe cheerful demonstrative expressing feelings freely ardent passionate debonair it's a very positive word a person who is very energetic vivacious very cultured very refined sophisticated suave s u a v e and very friendly too candid means frank so please pause i am also working
please pause now so you must have had some difficulty right because i always have been telling you see every word has a meaning and uh, dictionary try very hard to give us the meaning and each dictionary will define a word differently and uh, words have many literal meanings and implied meanings so don't think that uh, you have to be completely you know conforming to one particular meaning of the word so here this is a little tricky because uh, the whole sentence has to first be understood the saying that a thousand truths are told in jest hasi mazak mein bahut sara sach bol dete hain ha నవ్వుతు ఎన్నో సత్యాలు చెప్పేస్తారట అట్లాంటి వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళు చెప్పిన సత్యము వాళ్ళకి ఎలా వర్తిస్తుందో తెలుసుకుంటే బాగుంటుందేమో నవ్ అలా ఆలోచిస్తే యూ హ్యావ్ టు ట్రాన్స్లేట్ ద సెంటెన్స్ సో నవ్వుతూ చెప్పేవాళ్ళు సో బ్లైత్ బ్లైత్ మీన్స్ వెరీ చియర్ఫుల్ విచ్ ఈస్ ద వర్డ్ దట్ కమ్స్ వెరీ క్లోజ్ టు బ్లైత్ బ్లైత్ మీన్స్ వెరీ చియర్ఫుల్ అండ్ బిందాస్ అండ్ ఇన్సూసియంట్ అండ్ నాన్ శాలెంట్ అండ్ కేర్ ఫ్రీ సోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ you know blight spirit very optimistic sanguine roseate so the word that comes close to blight is debonair because debonair is a complex word like i already told you very energetic very energetic very lively very blight and very suave very cultured and also very friendly so debonair on the whole also means carefree nonchalant one who is very light hearted and Uh, nonchalant very carefree bindas so that is the pair that was a slightly tough one this is how ets will harass you be careful that's why i keep listening uh, there are two playlists here one of my playlists i've given the name gre verbal which is all about words that keep coming up here and there so please listen to that also and my gre verbal class contains all the exercises so please uh, uh put some put in some effort listen to all these to the extent possible the more you listen and more often you listen the better it is for you jai shri ram